sexuality is actually one of the topics that is not sufficiently discussed in consciousness studies. I don't know very much that many, very many studies that have been done. We know a little bit about orgasm, the physiology of orgasm, those kinds of things. You have to understand that we are coming out of a dark age in the scientific study of consciousness because for decades nobody studied consciousness directly. So we are coming out of a taboo period a little bit like the Victorians on sex, if you like. And that's the period of behaviorism. And my friend uh, Jak Panksepp, who is a wonderful uh, neuroscientist on emotion and has made some really terrific discoveries, says that he thinks we're still in a period of, in sort of a dark age, when it comes to the emotions and when it comes to sexuality, which obviously is a, is a profoundly emotional a series of things. It's not one thing, it's a whole bunch of things. Now, at one level, people don't have to be convinced that sexuality is, is, is a source of an enormous importance, right? It's important subjectively in terms of just the sensations we have, sexual sensations, uh, and both pleasure and pain, if you will. It's important because it, it brings up all kinds of severe pathology of self-image, body image, those kinds of things, anorexia. Uh, all those kinds of things. It's important because of the self-image that people have about their own sexuality, what they believe to be true about their sexuality, their worries, their, their positive uh, feelings, and so on.